Long line drive towards center. Giacchino charges, dives. He makes contact with his glove, but then pops out, hits the grass, and there's hit number one of the 2012 season. Pickoff attempt to first, gets away from the first baseman, Yezzo. Cannon's going to go to second, stop sign there, and an E1 will put a runner in scoring position. Runner takes off the payoff, swung on, comebacker into center field, base hit, takes a weird hop, Appling picks it, rounding second, headed to third, here's the throw there, and they got him. Appling with a rocket. Cuts down, Motto at third. Pitch on its way. Swung on, comeback, and it drills Eric Young. Batchett pounces back to the catcher. Burgess, he'll have no play. And it's hit number two for the Cougars, and Eric Young is banged up. As the 3-2 from Lewis is swung on, chopped right side. Casey Grayson ranges over, fields it, tosses it over to Lewis in time for out number one. That might season long on Saturdays. The 2-1, hammer to third. Runty diving stop. Gets up, throws to first. Oh, mercy! What a play by Runty at third. Oh. Post of the game previous might be a little bit better. As the 1-2 roll to first, Grayson's there. He'll take it to the bag himself. And Jordan Lewis, so 1-2-3, top. Here's the windup in the pitch. Swung on, hit well. Left field going. Go, Go ball. Out of the track to the wall. Get out of here. See you later. Walk her to the door and kiss her goodnight. A solo shot by Landon Appling to lead off the bottom of the first. Boy, you talk about a 3-1 swing right there. Got the fastball he was looking for. Middle in and Landon Appling. I mean, on a dry day, that ball might hit McDonald's. He hit that well, no doubt about it. And the Cougars just like that. The 3-2, Runty grounds it towards third. Stoltz is there to field it. Double clutch, throw to first, bad throw. Gets past the first baseman. Ricochets off the fence, back to the second baseman long. Not far enough for Set at the shoulders. There goes Runty. Grayson shows bunt, pulls back, throw to second base, and he's safe. The ball gets past the shortstop, but the second baseman long is there to back the count. Pitch on its way, Jensen Chopper, left side, past the diving, shortstop into left. They're going to wave, Runty around third. He's heading home. Powell will just throw it into the cutoff man. An RBI single by Chase Jensen, and the Cougars up by two. 1-1, one, one. swung on, ground ball into left field, base hit. One run will score. Runner at third being waved after it's bobbled by Powell in left. He will score. Gibson will go to third, and going into second is Jacobs. It'll be a single, and then Jacobs will move up on the air. 1-0 from Lewis, swung on, ground ball towards short. Jensen charges, fields, throws it across, low throw. Grayson drops to a knee, and it's a run and two hits. As this one's rolled to third, past the diving third baseman, Runty up the line and left. Rounding first is Tamarini, he's going to second. Here's the throw towards second by Jacobs, the tag, and they got him! What a play by Price Jacobson left, and the Cougar dug out out to great. Both Jacobs and White on a fine play, cutting down. Earned, and two are unearned. At the 2-0 by Grayson is driven into left field. That's going to burn Powell and go all the way to the wall. Grayson rounds first. He's headed to second. He'll stop there with a one-out opposite field double. We've heard about this Grayson Powell to take on the Red Raiders. Later in the year is the 1-0 roll. Past the diving first baseman, Yezzo into right. Grayson rounding third. He's headed home. Here's the Ferdinand throw to the plate. It's cut off. An RBI single by Lewenberg. And the Cougars now lead 8-0. Number one. First pitch to the righty, swung on, ground ball to short. Jensen waits back for it, fields it, throws it across the diamond, and plenty of time for out number two. Sixth, really, it has been all game long. The one-two from Lewis, swung on, grounded to short. Jensen there, th throw across the diamond, and it's a one-two-three inning for Jordan Lewis. Alec Novich, in relief of Cool, delivers the one-one, come back here right past the diving second baseman, DJ Long, into center field. White, third. First pitch to the lefty, Grayson, swung on, ground ball to first under the glove of Yezzo into right field. Scoring on the play is White. Appling will go first to third and stop there. An E3 in last inning. The 1-0, crisp ground ball, but right to the second baseman, White. Takes his time, throws it over to Grayson at first. There they go, here's the payoff pitch, swung on, line to center, Appling froze, now breaks in and makes the catch on the move. Run. Six to one in the first game of the doubleheader, seven to four in the second game as this one's roped down the third base line and will roll towards the corner. Jacobs digging for second, looking for more, and he'll slow down and walk into second base. Balls in the outfield as the 0-2 to Runty is grounded on the first base line. It's off the glove of Yezzo, bounces into the Delaware bullpen, one run is in, two runs are in. And stopping at third base is Appling, a two RBI double. Nothing's up. Here's the 1-0 to Grayson, swung on, looping liner, left center field. That will drop for a hit. One run is in. They're waving Runty around third. He's headed home. Throw comes into second. 
And it's a two RBI double by Casey Grayson. The one, two. Ground ball right side, backhand stop by Yezzo. Goes to second and he throws it away into left field. Another error, that's the fourth. So Grayson reaches second on the E3. And Jensen reaches and he gets the one he likes, the 2-0. Swung on, crisp ground ball along at second and he can't make the play. It's into right, rounding third and scoring is Grayson. The throw comes into third, but Jensen is safe there. Fifth, Texas State. The 2-1, swung on, line drive, right center field. Appling charges in, makes the catch, comes up. Thought about throwing to first, but instead holds on to it. March 6th, and then on the road to Oxford, Mississippi to take on Ole Miss. The 1-0 swung on by Warrington, popped up a mile high to the waiting hands of Taylor White at second base. First pitch, and he lines this one into left field. A three-hit night for their young freshman, Price Jacobs. One out, single to left. Two balls, one strike to White. Here's the pitch, swung on. He hits it hard into the hole right side and into right field for a base hit. His second hit of the evening, Dance. What was the bat back and forth? Swings at the 0-2, flies it to left. Jacobs is coming in. They make the count the belly. Here's the 1-0. Swung on, chopper to first. Grayson picks it up in fair territory, taps the bag at first. And a good job on Morales. Those two of the Navarro Juco trio that we have not seen today. The 0-2 roll towards short. Jensen picks, quick throw to first. Plenty of time for out number two. Stan Pone set at the belt, the 1-1 pitch. Breaking ball, line drive, left field, base hit. It's going to roll towards the corner. It's cut off by Model, rounding third and heading home is Kendall Stacks. It's an RBI single by Chase Jensen. Rejink the sign, the line, the 2-2. Breaking ball, called strike three on the outside corner. Second strikeout by Virginia, a 1-2-3 inning, and the Cougars win. They sweep the doubleheader. One thing, right? Absolutely. There's a weak grounder to the shortstop, Jensen. He'll flip it over to the second baseman on the first, and that's breaking pitch. High fly in the center field, going back is Appling. He got good bat on the ball, but Appling will make Wearing jersey number 21. Breaking ball is in the dirt. Check swing by Brannigan. Couldn't hold up. Catcher Cannon will throw the first baseman Grayson to complete the strikeout on the regard. Here's the 0-1 on the way. High fly into left field. Lazy fly ball. Price Jacobs battling the sun, but makes the catch with one hand. And the pitch from Garza. High chopper over the mound. Second baseman. White charges. Throws to first. Gray first the pitch. Fly ball again to Appling, the center fielder, moving a bit to his left. Now he's under it, catches it with two hands. Handed batter, Jacobs, first at bat of the ball game. Hit to the shortstop, backhanded by Niggin Brugel, the throw to first, and a heck of a try, but safe at first in the Houston area. The ball goes off of the catcher, Burgess. It is Mitt, and coming home to score is Jacobs from third base. We're tied at one. I think that would have to go as a count. Soren delivers. And that one is through the hole on the left side. That's a base hit. And stopping the runner is the 1-1. One -one. Fly ball into right field. Right fielder Ferdinand goes back, looks up, and he makes the play at the warning track. But this will get the run home to give the coup. Oh, I got the strikeout. Garza. High fly, left field, Jacobs running near the left field foul line. He makes the play in fair territory. According to the umpire, the third base umpire, give your pitcher a chance. Right into left field, this one's more on a line drive, and Jacobs battling this 3-1 Houston, the pitch. And that's one right in front of home plate area. Cannon coming out of the chute, throws to first base. Grayson makes Cannon the 1-1. Bunt attempt, not a bad a bunt attempt, and the pitcher, Soren will throw it down the right field line of the bullpen, and Cannon is going to be safe at second base. Maybe a hit and an You've got to be fired up about that. Get out of here, baseball. Drive to deep left field off the bat of Jacobs, and it's gone. How about it? Bryce Jacobs have a series. That ball was smoked. Out of the number eight spot, not bad. Not bad at all. Soren left out up the middle off Sorensen's heel, and he cannot find the ball, and safe is Taylor White. That ball was hit. Couch rise. Here's the 0-2. Little punch into shallow left field, but made the play. 
Shot into center field off the bat of Long, but Appling going back, making the play there. Fielding percentage is going to go down. Line past the third baseman, Stolfus, down the left field line off the bat of Runty, making the turn at first and heading into second base standing, a leadoff double. Oh, and that's Jake Runny baseball. To the stretch and the pitch. Oh. High fly center field, Appling coming in, will make the play. It, these Blue Hens hitters out in front, swinging a fly ball to left field. Left fielder will give way to the center fielder Appling and two for two. Runner goes and is hit right to the shortstop Jensen. Lines it up, throws to first base. And now Nick Bruga up the middle, grounded right to the shortstop Jensen, throws to first and what a two. High fly, not a lot of carry. Left fielder Jacobs battling the sun yet once again, but he did an error in the fifth. So he is 0 for 2. Grounder back to the pitcher. And good job by Morehouse coming off the mound. On the count, the pitch. Bouncer, third baseman, backhands the ball. Runty, long throw across the diamond. Good play by Grayson. And Morehouse, Lutheran, high school player. And he hits it into center field. Lewenberg, one out single, comes in. And the left-hander, Murray, does not two for three today. Lined right to the third baseman off of his glove, Stolfus, and he will have to eat the ball. Another run scores for Houston is six to one. And Lewenberg scores from third base. Appling, right-hander versus right-hander. That's is. into left field for a hit. They're going to wave the runner, and he will score sliding in there. Jacob scores from second. Gibson scores is two for three. High fly into right field. Right fielder Ferdinand will reach back. Oh, he drops the ball, and he'll have a play at second base for the force out, and Appling will be, here's the pitch. Grounder, shortstop, will step on the back for one, on to first. Oh, that goes into the Blue Hen dugout. That was a one-two. High shot into center field, but this will be playable by the center fielder Appling, and that'll do it. Long hits into the fly ball out. And the Cougs win 9-2. to two.